This video covers a very sensitive and legal topic. I did my best to get you the most accurate information, including the government's website on what a consumer proposal is. For your specific matter, always consult a licensed insolvency trustee. I have included three to five names of re reputable licensed insolvency trustee firms can help you because they're credible. This is not a sponsored video. I do not get any affiliate or referral income from the companies or their trustees. So I'm not getting a referral fee for this whatsoever. If you clicked on this video and you're going through a difficult time in your life due to mounting debt that's holding you back, I want you to know that I made this video for you. It's not hopeless and it's going to get better. This video has been intentionally made to give you information from the point of view of a person maybe like you needing to utilize the consumer proposal as a debt relief option and not information given to you in a dry, unrelatable and doubtful manner. If you're in debt, do yourself a big favor and just take a deep breath and watch this video till the end. And if it doesn't make sense, watch it again. I cannot give you any clarification or advice on this video, so don't contact me, but contact a licensed insolvency trustee who can help you out. If you owe between $1,000 to $250,000 in unsecured credit card or unsecured debt in general, your debts can be settled legally through a consumer proposal filed with a licensed insolvency trustee. Before I get into it, here are some points of a consumer proposal that are public and that you need to keep in mind. A consumer proposal is not a bankruptcy. If you file for a consumer proposal, you stop creditor actions like collection calls, court actions, and wage garnishments, meaning that they cannot just take money out of your paycheck. And this is all happening while you negotiate your debt settlement. No payments or fees. This is a very important point I want you to remember throughout this video. No payments or fees are required from you until your settlement proposal is filed with the government and you receive a full creditor protection. A CP, also known as consumer proposal, covers all of your unsecured credit card debts and lines of credits, including Canada Revenue Agency debts, CRA debts. You will not lose your tax return, your home, your car, your RRSPs or RESPs and investments and you will not lose your ability to sponsor your spouse for immigration into Canada. And I remember that I came across a Facebook post where this was an issue. Now that I've said that, let's continue. Getting a second chance at dealing with up to $250,000 worth of crushing debt and not losing your car, investments, or your home in the process is nothing short of a privilege and a blessing. Fact is, even the federal government knows that in life, things happen. In comes the consumer proposal, which is under the Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act, but is not a bankruptcy. It's a formal legally binding process that can only be administered, once again, that can only be administered by a licensed insolvency trustee. The trustee will work with you to develop a proposal which is an offer to pay your creditors a smaller amount than the total full amount of your debt. Here it is again, and I'm going to repeat. The government of Canada legitimately, as in for sure, offers a debt relief program called the Consumer Proposal which can reduce your debt by up to 80% through a negotiated settlement with your creditors without interest or penalties. The remaining debt is repaid based on what you can afford on a monthly basis without interest. So you can get out of debt without ever declaring personal bankruptcy or resorting to costly debt consolidation loans that have ongoing interest accruing. Even debt settlement options or whatever that, that's out there in the market don't stop your interest. The, the interest is constantly accruing. With the consumer proposal, it just stops. Once you file a consumer proposal and it's accepted, the interest stops. The collection calls stop. The wage garnishment, meaning they're taking money out of your paycheck, stop. So if you have credit cards, lines of credit, personal loans, payday loans, CRA debt, and depending on certain conditions, even student loans, which can be included in a consumer proposal, but there are some conditions to it, please consult a licensed insolvency trustee regarding which of your debt can be included in a consumer proposal for your circumstance. Now watch out for scammers placing themselves between yourself, who's probably being crushed by mountains of debt, and the actual licensed insolvency trustee being the only one who can file the consumer proposal to reduce a person's debt by 80% or more, providing them that much needed relief that they need. So if someone says to you, pay us 200 to $3,000 or more upfront is a scammer. Yeah, you don't need that extra consultation. Any type of consultation that you need should be directly from your licensed insolvency trustee. Upfront payment is not a part of the process because 
that would be counterintuitive, right? It doesn't make sense. For example, you're somebody who is under lots of financial pressures. You know, you're being crushed by debt. Your creditors are taking a portion of your monthly income because they have wage garnishment against you, for example. Why the heck would a debt relief option make you pay up front? Wouldn't make sense. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna make this clear again. You, the person filing a consumer proposal, does not pay any money up front until your proposal is accepted. And when I say proposal is accepted, there are specific rules as to how a licensed insolvency trustee may receive their fee. The trustee makes their money from a portion of the monthly payment you make to your creditors. As far as you, the person filing the consumer proposal is concerned, you don't pay anyone anything until your consumer proposal is filed, accepted, and now you make only one low monthly payment to your creditors which already includes that trustee's fees. That's it, not a penny upfront to anyone. Let's say you have $120,000 in credit card debts, $30,000 in Canada Revenue Agency taxes, $80,000 in lines of credit that just keeps getting worse, totaling $230,000 in an unsecured debt alone. And this is before the interest mounting, right? But the interest is accruing in that. Oh, and you have a car and a house with mortgage and maybe some investments, right? That you just don't wanna lose. So here's what happens when you file a consumer proposal. Taking into account all of your regular household expenses, a licensed insolvency trustee will negotiate an amount that you can afford to pay based on your debts and income. Then prepare and distribute a proposal to your creditors. This is an amount that you can afford to pay. Just keep that in mind. So then the licensed insolvency trustee will, when they distribute the proposal to your creditors, will request a settlement that is less than the full amount of debt that you owe. No creditor can refuse to participate in the debt settlement process because it has been brought into law under the Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act. It's literal federal law. Keep in mind, if your consumer proposal is not prepared prepared properly by a licensed insolvency trustee and does not explain to your creditors your situation well, then it is very possible that your proposal will get rejected, making you have to file an amended one which can cause complications. Moving on, in order for the proposal to be successful, at least half of your creditors must agree to the proposed debt settlement amount. If the proposal is acceptable to the majority of your creditors, the proposal will be accepted. You will have only one low monthly payment that includes payments towards your debt and fees for the license insolvency trustee. That's it. So for example, if your monthly payment was $400 for the next five years, that's all you pay from start to finish. Once again, if your consumer proposal is accepted by your creditors, you will pay back less than what you owe, often 70 to 80% less. Debt collection calls will stop immediately. Let me make you feel better a little bit. All high interest charges will stop. You will make one low monthly payment directly to your trustee consolidating all of your debt without interest and without penalties. The monthly payments are based on what you can afford and are flexible. You can pay everything right away or you can stretch your payments over a maximum of five years. The choice is yours. You will not be bankrupt. This won't affect your sponsorship application in case you're sponsoring a loved one from abroad. A bankruptcy will affect your sponsorship application but a consumer proposal will not. You will not lose any of your assets including your house, car, and you're not required to surrender anything to pay off what you owe. There are no additional fees or interest to worry about. So where did the rest of the debt go? That's a good question. It's literally been negotiated down by 70 to 80%. Simply, it's gone. As long as the licensed insolvency trustee is managing your consumer proposal, there's no catch. As a Canadian citizen, this is your right to use across the nation. The Canadian government would rather have you claim a consumer proposal than file a bankruptcy. And your creditors would rather get 20% of your debt than nothing. It's just the business that they're in, right? Only licensed insolvency trustees are federally regulated by the the government to guide you through the process of filing a consumer proposal. Just remember to stay away from scammers who claim they connect you to a licensed insolvency trustee and make it seem like you paying an upfront fee of $200 to $3,000 is part of the process for filing a consumer proposal. That's disgusting and not true. There's no application fee. There are no additional costs, no interest or fees that you need to pay aside from your monthly consumer proposal payment after your consumer proposal has been accepted and you're making your first payment. That's it. The next part is important. Well, everything in this video is important.
important, keep in mind that the one filing the consumer proposal must follow the terms of the proposal. If you miss three payments, you will default and the proposal will become null and void and filing for bankruptcy may be necessary. But again, consult a licensed insolvency trustee. I'm not licensed insolvency trustee. I'm just a guy on YouTube promoting this to you because it may help you. Pray to God it does. Once again, I've included three to five names of reputable licensed insolvency trustees that can help you in the description of this video. To help you with the management of your finances, because you probably will not have access to a Visa or MasterCard, sign up for the no fee Coho prepaid MasterCard app. When you spend $5, you're actually going to end up uh, getting $20 as a welcome bonus. So if you're gonna go to a gas station and fill your car up with gas, you might actually just get $20 because you spent five bucks, that's it. It's easy to load, you just email money, transfer your money, and then you can use it as a regular MasterCard. And the best part is Costco takes MasterCard, so it's a win-win. I hope the content in this video helps you. Please share this video, it may be helpful to someone out there. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon to be notified of the future upcoming videos, inshallah. May Allah reward you. Until the next one, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.